And welcome back to Coral Gables now. We're still here with Maria Yorka from the village of Merrick Park. And we were discussing earlier, you love Key West food, right? I love it. Perfect, because I actually had an exclusive kind of one-on-one -on -one cooking lesson from Linda Gassenheimer, who's actually a Coral Gables resident and also a cookbook author. So let's check out that. After a short trip to residential Coral Gables, I met with cookbook author Linda Gassenheimer in her home. She has written numerous amount of cookbooks and with her resume, it shows she knows a thing or two in the kitchen. I'm what you call a real foodie. I love good food. I've written 24 cookbooks and many articles and I'm, you know, I'm a syndicated columnist. My, uh, my dinner minutes column goes to six million readers every week on the McClatchy Wire. Um, I'm on WLRN, National Public Radio in South Florida every Thursday at 1.30, so you can listen to me and talk about food. Or you can go to my website, dinnerinminutes.com, and learn all about me. In her book, The Flavors of the Florida Keys, she shows you how to make the authentic Key West cuisine right at home, and I got a special training course in how to make a delicious and simple meal. So first, so what are we going to be cooking? We're going to be cooking the flavors of the Florida Keys. Okay, what, what, what is the Keys all about? Fish. Fish. Wonderful, fresh, fresh fish. And I have here what I call heavenly hogfish. Um, now, you can't always buy hogfish, it's, uh, um, especially if you're not in the Keys, but the recipe is delicious. Use any kind of fish. I have here flounder. Okay. So, but, you, but tilapia, be fine, because the sauce is what makes it so wonderful. So we want, I have some butter here, cooking that up. And of course, butter and fish go so well together. And let's just put the fish into the pan. Okay. Now, beautiful thin piece of fish like this, four minutes. And remember, remember, fish will continue to cook once it's off the heat, and you right. don't want to overcook the fish. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cook this fish up four minutes, about four minutes. When it's finished, we're going to make the sauce. And let's talk about what's going to be in the sauce. So it's basically tomatoes, okay. diced tomatoes. And guess what? You can buy them already diced in the supermarket. Yeah, make easy. Like, it makes like these for you. So. I've got shallots here. Okay. If you want to use diced onions, go for it. That's fine. Uh, oh, I wish they could smell and see all the flavors that are coming it's out here. It's really good. Right really now. good, yes. We're going to put some chopped chives onto the, onto the fish. Um, I have here uh, lemon juice, garlic. Of course. A little white wine. Secret ingredient you have here? Secret ingredient? Is mango puree. Mango puree. Now you can buy mango puree frozen in the supermarket, but if you can't find it, it doesn't matter. Puree some pineapple. Really? So they, they, they both can work? Both can work very easily. Peaches, whatever. Now look at this, it's cooking beautifully, sizzling in that butter. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's starting to smell really good right now. Look at that, just really nice. Another half a minute and it's done. That's it. That's it. So here we have our fit, uh, was that easy? Extremely easy. Yeah. I feel All like right. I could cook this right now. And I, well, I'm I might terrible. just have you cooking in two <laughs> seconds. So don't, if you can talk up like that, you're going to have to cook. I add a little more butter. If you wanted to, you could have a, a canola oil or olive oil. Oh, you can't go fun. wrong with butter, though. Butter and fish go together. Yeah. It's just a little bit. And I've got the shallots going in. And we're going to put the garlic in. OK. And they cook about maybe a minute. We're going to now we're going to do tomatoes. The tomatoes. And that just cooks maybe two minutes. Okay. They give off their juice um, and they're ready to go. And then what we're going to do is give that a minute to cook. Does that look beautiful? It looks really good. Really, it's really not good. smell of vision, so it's too bad for I know, everyone you else. Can, you need to be able to smell <laughs> this to understand what's happening right now, but it smells really good, especially right now with the you can smell the white the white wine coming up and now the garlic and the onions. Oh, mm. it just smells really good. And I'm going to put in the the mango puree. Okay. And you know what? If you didn't have it, you could leave it out. It'd still be a delicious dish. It's just that little head and hidden something, and people say, mm, "What's what? What is this? What? What? You know, what's, what's going on here?" Um, and it's just a little bit of that puree. And then what you're going to do is you just put it over the fish mm -hmm. like this. I have a bigger spoon here. So not only is it a pretty simple meal, but it actually looks, it not only does it smell good, trust me, it smells really good, but it also looks very good. It's very simple, but yet it looks very, very appetizing. With all the colors and everything, it just looks... And, and that's my heavenly hogfish. That's it. <laughs> that's it. 
And for more recipes and cooking tips, be sure to check out Linda's website, www.dinnerinminutes.com. And as you can see from that cooking lesson, the food was delicious, let me tell you that. So it's a very simple and easy meal that anyone, including myself, who doesn't know anything about cooking, can make. And that wraps it up for Coral Gables now. I want to thank first, Maria, thank you for having us at the Village of Merrick Park. You gave us this great setting, the Christmas tree, the fountain. You showed us all these great gifts. I just want to say thank you for being such a great host. Thank you so much for having us. You're always welcome to come back. And of course, all your viewers are very welcome to come out and visit. Thank you again. And we hope everyone at home has a very happy and safe holidays. And until next month, we'll see you then.